friends of our Blessed Lady. We continue to follow Mary as we journey with her son Jesus to his death on Calvary. For the full text and audio of Mary's meditation, click on the links provided with this video. Used with permission from Creighton University Online Ministry. This week we focus on the sixth station in our Shrine Chapel, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Listen now to Mary's words. I can't describe his face with the blood and the sweat and the bruises and swelling from beatings. As a mother, I can hardly tell you that there was even spit on his face. It was the face of solidarity with all who have ever experienced abuse and violence. Then, out of the crowd came a woman whose compassion for my son was so great that she pushed past the Roman soldiers and wiped his face with her veil. Oh, how I loved her for that! The look between them touched me deeply. His clean face, for a moment, revealed the loving face of the son I loved. As he smiled at the woman and continued on the journey, those of us nearby looked at her veil and saw the gift he gave her. There on her veil was a stunning likeness, a true icon of the cost of his sacrifice and the depth of his solidarity with all who suffer. This image is his gift to us forever, to always contemplate his likeness, his union with us in our worst rejection and suffering. As you remember with me how his face was so covered with punishment and violence, let us give thanks for his solidarity with us in every aspect of our lives. George Whalen offers his meditation on this sixth station. It is edifying to note where women such as Veronica, the Blessed Mother, and later in the eighth station, other women from Jerusalem greet and help Jesus. Jesus obviously appealed to both men and women, and as recounted in the Gospels, he had some particular women who were close to him in his ministry. This is a lesson for our times where many women are trying to discern their proper role in the church today. We do not know much about Veronica other than this simple act of kindness. Was it merely the sight of Jesus' suffering, or was Veronica a follower of Jesus? Regardless, this simple act of mercy and kindness can be a lesson to all of us to reach out and help others in need. Our prayer this week is to instill in us the compassion to reach out to those in need. We pray, Mary, please instill in us the compassion to reach out and help those in need. Veronica did this with just a simple gesture which spoke volumes to the rest of us. With your help, may we all have that same degree of kindness and mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In our next reflection, we will focus on the seventh station, Jesus Falls the Second Time. Thank you, dear friends, for your patronage, and especially for your devotion to Mary. May you always remain close to our Blessed Lady. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you.